Hey everybody, so I'm here for another wig chat. Guys, I got another John Renault in the mail and rushed upstairs and put it on and just not good. Took it off after, you know, I looked at it and you know, you can't do too much with them, unfortunately, to determine whether or not you wanna keep them or not. You can't mess with the crown. You can't do anything with the part. You basically put it on and try to be a visionary and see if there's anything you can do with it. Um, you know, I do have to kind of feel and look to see if I like the general shape of it, but really you can't do much if you are even remotely interested at returning or exchanging them. Um, so it is frustrating. It's really hard to figure out if you're going to like it or not. It's kind of a roll of the dice because for me, the only way I'm going to know is if I can really get in there and start messing with it. And you can't do that if you're thinking about returning it. So I have literally put a wig on, went like this, took it off, put it back exactly like I had it and returned it. I've actually done that twice now. And you just know, you just know. And these were beautiful wigs, but I knew. It's just like, nah, mm -mm, I can't pull that off. Uh, one was a, a very long wig. I'm like, no, mm -mm, no, there's no way in the world. No, it was gorgeous. Uh, I, I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, it was really, really pretty. So with this one, I pretty much did that. I put it back in its netting, you know, turned it exactly the way I got it put it, everything back in the box, perfect, got the shipping box, put it in the shipping box, took the old shipping tag off, printed out the return receipt, filled it out, stuck it in. I mean, I was ready to send that baby back. Well, I decided, you know what, Jill, we are gonna try to do something with this. I felt obviously like it had some kind of potential, so I'm here now, and you know that means that I've decided to keep it. So today, guys, we're going to be talking about John Renault's Eve in Shaded Praline 12 FS8. It is also an HD-friendly uh, fiber, meaning it will take heat. Um, those seem to be the only ones that I can deal with. So I really love those. And unfortunately, they probably don't have the same amount of shelf life maybe as the others. I don't know. Some of you out there have said, nope, I've had some really great ones last me a good long year. Um, I think it's all about how you take care of them, yada, yada. So that gives hope to all of us newbies out there that if we take good care of them, you know, we do everything right that hopefully we will have a pretty good shelf life with these heat defiant fibers um, in the wigs. Okay, let's talk about Eve now, shall we? Okay, I decided I had better show you the cap because I did find a few, but not very many uh, reviews out there on this one. So Eve is a Machine wefted, it has a pretty good amount of stretch, not not huge amount of stretch, probably because it has an entire beautiful monofilament crown area. You could part your hair anywhere in there, and I love that. And it has the, the nice lacing there, front lace in the front. It's got the moleskin uh, temple tabs. I have a tendency of calling them ear tabs. I, I don't know why, but I do. And it has the little bendable um, dealios in there so you can make sure that it's really close to the side of your face. And it also has the extended nape in the back, which I have grown to appreciate because I do now have a wig that does not have it. And I can feel the difference when it comes to comfort um, for sure. So I do appreciate those extended napes back there. And this one has the pull tabs that have the, um, the elastic and the Velcro. And I definitely, um, prefer those. I have not kept a wig that had the other style I actually ended up sending that one back. And it also was the same one that did not have this nice moleskin temple tab. Um, yeah, there's no way I could have tolerated that at all. So this is the cap, guys. And the boxes it ticked for me 
Jean Renault, heat-friendly fiber, front lace, moleskin temple tabs, extended nape, and the beautiful crown monofilament top. So, now guys, I want you to know, I am here to tell you that this will get better, but here is Eve right out of the box. And here it is. This is Eve by John Renault in Shaded Praline 12 FS8. So some of you might be like, oh, actually, I don't think it's too bad. To me, well, this is not me. <laughs> this is definitely not me. Um, very flat. Um, it doesn't have any permatees, which, you know, here I am saying that I hate permatees, but... Um, there's none in here and therefore it does sit rather flat. I'll show you what it looks like on the side here so you can see this. This is considered a very short bob um, and it is definitely asymmetrical, meaning that it is longer on this side than it is on this side. So let me just show you it like this. So this would be the left side, the shorter side this is the right side, the little bit longer side, and this is the back. So you see what I mean? It is, doesn't have a lot of style to it, but I went through it. It is very well shaped like every John Renault wig that I personally have ever tried, which I know isn't that much yet, but, um, so I decided I'm going to try to work with this to make it more me. I'm not going to cut it or anything like that. I am going to dry shampoo it because it is, it looks like healthy hair, but I think that, you know, healthy, regular, healthy, shiny hair, but I think if you were to get out in the sun, it would really be shiny. So I'm going to do the dry shampoo. And if I had spray gel, which I want to order some of that, um, there's some John Renault spray gel, I would probably do that and then some of that hairspray. So I'm going to see what I can do with this, guys. First of all, I want to show you something that kind of threw me off a little bit until I started playing with it and realized why it was cut like that. Because this is actually a little shorter than, you know, this right here. And there's not this perfect little blending area. But um, I think I can work with that, and it still um, isn't super, like, a, you know, super hard graduated difference or anything like that. So I'm going to see what I can do with this, and I will be right back. Okay, so I think this is pretty, pretty edgy, considering what we started with. Um, I think more than anything, because I don't know, maybe to you there's not a big change, but there really is. She was very, very, very soft, really flattened to the cap. It was really hard to try to get any texture or any movement really to create anything other than what it was when I first put it on. So just like I guess there is a similarity to regular hair. You know, you have to create some kind of texture in there to make it do anything. And when it's so soft, um, it's just, you know, you could sit there and, and do this and run your fingers through it all day and it's just gonna go right back and it's gonna be soft and flat to the head. So the first thing I needed to do with this really was to create some texture. So the first thing I did was I sprayed the Hoon Hawks out of it with some dry shampoo. I ran out of the other stuff that I used, which came in that mint green can. It's called Unwash. And now that I've used this one, which isn't bad, I really kind of think I prefer the other one better, the Unwash. It um, created a little bit more of a grittier texture that I actually liked. Um, so you might find your preference and that might not be your preference. Um, I also preferred the smell of the other one. This one's very baby powdery smell and it doesn't stick with you. It's not like you're going to go out in your day and smell like the dry shampoo I found with both of these. The smell does not stick around, which is a good thing. 
Um, anyway, this is the one I used and it worked fine. It's My Amazing Blow Dry Secret and this is their dry shampoo. So I did, um, you could do this really when it's not on your head, but I had already secured it on for the video and I wasn't about to just take it off and work with it. Um, so I did this while it was on my head and I would show it to you in here, but I'm afraid this would just go everywhere and get in my equipment. I would take you in the bathroom with me, but the lighting in there is terrible. So, um, yeah, what I do with this is I just kind of spray it. I lift the hair everywhere. I lift the front spray the front hairline and I just get it everywhere. I want to really kind of create that different kind of texture. Usually when people use dry shampoos on their wigs, it's because they want to dye down the shine and get rid of that artificial shine. With the um, heat resistant fibers, they look much more realistic right out of the box. However, I still like to take that shine down a little bit. It's okay for inside, but I think you'll find as soon as you get outside, look in your mirror, you know, in the car, you're like, oh, well, I have very shiny hair. So um, I prefer to do this for that as well, but mostly for the texture. So, you know, once I kind of got that that helps a lot because um, before if i did this the hair was just going to fall right back down again so i was able to um, really work with it more after i sprayed that in but i didn't stop there the next thing i did is i used the john renault renault holding hairspray now i just want you to know that i've only used this hairspray when and this is made for synthetic hair and I've only used this one. I'd be really interested to find out kind of if there's a difference from synthetic hairsprays to synthetic hairsprays because I don't know. I, so I can only tell you about this one. And this particular one, you don't want to think of it as a hairspray. Like you're going to style your hair like you would your own. You do the spray, you move it, and it sort of stays there. These don't do that. And that is really kind of irritating to me. I don't want helmet head, but I do want to be able to, when I get a style, just to kind of either work with it a little bit. So the style will have some memory to it, you know, not necessarily crunchy, hold it all day kind of stuff. And with this, I've just come to the realization that I need to embrace the fact that I cannot think of it as a hairspray. I think of it as another way to kind of change the texture a little bit, because although I think it even says holding spray, I don't know. I guess I, I'm doing something wrong. It doesn't necessarily hold the style, you know? So I will tell you what I did though with this because, you know, I don't know. I, I guess maybe it does help. Obviously, I think that because I probably wouldn't be using it. But um, so what Patty recommends is that you spray this on your hand and you get a good amount and you get it on here and then you go under the wig you kind of go in circles and you bring it out go in circles kind of grab it bring it out these are um this is a machine wefted um cap so i don't think i feel too bad about being you know a little bit more rough with it if this was a hand tied wig probably you know, wouldn't want to be this kind of rough with it. But this is a um, a machine wefted cap, so I don't think, you know, that it's going to be too terrible if you kind of get your hands in there. If you watch Patty and those wigs that she has, man, she is not delicate on them, and she gets them to look so good on her. Um, I think she does a great job. So anyway, this is what I did throughout the whole wig. I mean, she doesn't recommend that you take the hairspray and spray it on top of the hair because what that's going to do is it's just going to weigh the fibers down. You got to get in the root area. You got to get down there in the root of the wig and really focus just like regular hair, really. If you, if you can get the root direction going where you want it to go, then you're better off. Because if you just layer a product on top, it's just going to weigh it down. And I think with wigs, that's even more um, true. So 
this does work when it comes to getting a little more lift, working it. If you get it down there at the roots, it does definitely um, work. You really got to work with this one, guys, if you want it to have a little more body, if you want it to kind of, you know, stick out from the head a little bit, you really do have to work at this one, okay? It's not just going to happen with just brushing your hands through. This one you got to work for. <laughs> but I kept it because I, I really thought it had potential, and while it probably won't be my favorite, um... I think that it's, you know, it's going to be good. So I did that. I did that with this kind of all through it, all through the cap. I lifted it up and sprayed it down there, kind of held it up until it dried, you know, really trying to work with it that way. Now, I think it might actually be a great idea to do this styling, do the dry shampoo, do the hairspray thing when it's not even on your head. You can do it when it's upside down, shake it, put the hairspray in there, work it in, shake it, just to get those roots kind of away from the cap. Then you could do one of two things. You can stick it on your head then, and you can start working with the John Renault Peace Out Cream. Um, or you can put it on a wig stand if you have that, and you can style it right on there. And I think I will do a video because now I do have a really nice um, wig stand. Uh, oh, it needs a, something to suction cup to. I'll think of something and then I can like kind of style a wig on the wig stand and explain to you what I'm doing because I think that would be really fun. I think that would be a great idea. So after I did all of this hairspray business, dry shampoo, hairspray business, working at the roots, I then went in with this. Got it on my fingers. This stuff's gonna last me forever. Got it on my fingers just like this. Tips of fingers. Then you can go in and you can literally put this on here and really piece it through. Piece it through. Now, this is, I would do this after you do both of those other things because those things we really wanted to get in there at the roots and now we're just kind of doing detailed work um, you don't want to get carried away with this stuff because it will weigh the fibers down and it will also make it look very very greasy very very quickly so just you know be aware of that um, again though i like what it does it changes the texture um, and it does really exactly what it says it pieces out the hair you can work with it just the way you want um, and again it changes the texture a little bit more and that's what I want so I'm just kind of dipping dipping my fingers in rubbing them together getting them sticky this is my normal I mean this is my natural actual bio hair right through here Remember how I always like to take out a tiny little section of my own hair from about the temple down, a very tiny section. Um, anyway, this I could you could continue really to to do this to the desired kind of you know look that you're after. This hair, when I started, you guys, I cannot emphasize enough how soft and bodiless it was um, and very, very, very straight. Um, so, um, yeah. And it still is. And the thing that kind of annoys me is, and this I think will just come with practice, and maybe even a little bit of backcombing, teasing, um, is that I can do all of this, and for the most part, yes, I have changed it a lot. It just wants to, gravity wants to take it down, you know, and, um, and I find myself, you know, constantly trying to play with it to make it less to my head. It doesn't want to continue to kind of go to my head. So 
you know, work with it, get this down into those roots, mess it up. The thing about these products, you guys, is that they are going to come right out. They're going to come out. This is why you want to use products that are made just for synthetic hair because all you they really do when you comb through them they just they're fibrous and they they just kind of come out now for the most part I mean you're gonna have it's gonna be in there a little bit but it really will when I comb through this tonight it's gonna go back to being very very soft and most of this is just going to come right out minus the dry shampoo which is why I like the dry shampoo that's not gonna come out until I wash it out so anyway so I think this is fun I think that with a little bit of product actually a lot bit of product um, you can really have fun with this one try to look at it as a challenge which is kind of what I did I'm like hmm had it all ready to return I'm like come on Jill come on if this if you went to a beauty salon and somebody cut your hair like that you would go home and you would try to do something with it so that's what I felt like I needed to do I needed to try and pretend that I got this haircut and I didn't like it so much but it was a good haircut but I didn't like it so I had to do something to it and I think um, this is me now <laughs> um, you know I think for the most part I I like this you know again is this gonna be my very favorite wig no probably not but I don't hate it and I love it enough to keep it that's for sure and I like it a lot better than it was that's for dang sure now, as mentioned before earlier, this is really kind of asymmetrical haircut, believe it or not. Um, I see it a little bit. It's not a blaring bob where it just, you know, is short and then comes really long on this side. It's very subtle, not too, too uh, noticeable at all, actually. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a part of me kind of wishes it was a little bit more uh, severe maybe just to give it a little bit more edge maybe if I tucked this completely behind um, it would kind of maybe give the illusion a little bit more that it is I don't know <laughs> I had to do it with a with a headband you guys I had to try it with a headband which actually brings me to this you guys I am so I was so surprised The I did the video with, um, let's see, it was straight up with a twist, the Raquel Welch wig chat. And no, it was the styling. It was the styling of that particular wig, that video that I uploaded. And I talked in pretty big length about these really cute square headbands. So if you want a really you know expanded kind of look at these how cute they are kind of thing because I genuinely just wanted to share these with you guys because they are super cute and brilliant very comfortable and work really well with wigs I think anyways um well a lot of you apparently went over to the website that I went ahead and put in the comment box you purchased some and you told them you heard about them through me so the people that the it's a very small company they emailed me and let me know hey thank you so much for sending people our way you did such a great job we watched your video and you did a wonderful job you know telling people about our headbands and they actually sent me free headbands they sent me they asked me to pick out two headbands I felt like I won a contest honestly that kind of stuff never happens to me <laughs> so you know I'm new to this whole YouTube thing this uh, anyway I, I was just really super excited I told my kids ran upstairs like oh my god you never believe what happened and they're like what and then I told them I'm getting two free headbands they're like okay it's like no this is just so cool 
So I thought that was super nice, first of all, of them, but really nice of anybody out there that may have mentioned me when they purchased these headbands. And when I made that video, I did not have any, you know, I, as a matter of fact, I put, um, I think Nisha had a discount code and um, another gal, I think I put her down as well. Um, I think they may have expired. I didn't realize those discount codes actually expire, but they gave me my own discount code. And so if you go and shop over there and you love these headbands and you want to purchase some, then you can use Jill in the discount code. And you know what? I don't even remember right now what the actual discount count code was or is. So I'll put that information down in the comment box because honestly, I don't remember. And I And this happened a little while ago and I keep forgetting to tell you guys and I keep forgetting to mention this discount code but to be honest it is the same discount you would get if you just ordered from their website I think they have like buy two get one no what is it buy two I don't remember it ends up being the same thing I think one equates to free shipping and one equates to getting 50% off your third headband or something like that but either way it equates to the same discount so um, whatever you've been doing you have you won't get more or less I think really all all it does is it lets them know who's sending who you know like oh they used uh, Jill so Jill they got this from Jill's video you know uh, YouTube channel or oh this is Nisha they got this they're using Nisha so I think they kind of can keep track of who's bringing them business and who isn't but either way I, I was thrilled and I want to say thank you because if you guys didn't say anything they wouldn't have known and really honestly I felt like I won a contest <laughs> so um, yeah I got a white one and a black and white kind of uh, houndstooth checkered one so cute anyway guys check that out they are adorable. This one's black and has some really pretty bling on the side. But I don't want to talk too much about them because I already did that. So check out the, and I'll put that down in the comment box as well. Um, check out the styling tips for Straight Up With A Twist by Raquel Welch. And you will, it's, right, it's in the very, very beginning. So if you're not interested in watching it all the way through, you certainly don't have to. <laughs> okay, guys. All right, I'm going to let you go. Until next time, talk to you later. And stay young at heart. Bye-bye.